Call to order City of Forest Park Council Organizational Meeting, December 4, 2017. The clerk, please call the roll, please. Burns? Here. Collins? Here. Herbie? Here. Holt? Here. Johnson? Here. Moore? Here. All council members uh, are present and accounted for. We move then to item number two on the agenda. This is the oath of office to those council members who were elected in the this past last month's November election. So would those members please come forward in the front and Dr. Button will come forward to administer the oath of office. see you out tonight. Uh, to all of the elected uh, counselors, uh, I would like uh, you to uh, at least say your name when I uh, uh, call for it, all right? And uh, the City of Forest Park, Ohio, the oath of office, I, please repeat your name, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of, the United States, of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, the Charter of the Municipality of Forest Park, and that I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully honestly, honestly, and impartially, and impartially Discharge the duties, duties as council person. person. Again, repeat your names. Chelsea, right. You are sworn in. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a motion, Councilwoman Herbie? Yes, I would uh, move to suspend the reading in full. Re move to suspend the rules and uh, to read in full and to read by title only resolution number 43 2017. Second. It's been moved and second that we suspend the rules requiring the reading in full and read uh, by title only <coughs> resolution number 43 2017. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk please call the roll on the motion to suspend the rules? First. I'm sorry, would you please read? No. No. By title the rule. No. Oh. Would the clerk please call the roll on the motion to suspend the rules? Yes. Burns? Yes. Collins? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Moore? Yes. Nuss? Yes. The motion to suspend the rules passes 7-0. So would the clerk now please read resolution 43-2017 by title only. Resolution number 43-2017, a resolution appointing Sally D. Dirksen as clerk of council of the city of Forest Park and authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement on behalf of the city of Forest Park, Ohio. Is there a motion? Councilwoman Holt. Make a motion to adopt uh, resolution number 43-2017. Second. It's been moved and second that we adopt resolution number 43-2017. Is there a discussion? No. Hearing none, would the clerk please call the roll on the motion to uh, for resolution 43-2017. Collins? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Moore? Yes. Nice? Yes. Burns? Yes. 
Motion to uh, resolution number 43 2017 passes uh, 7 0. Uh, at this point, we would administer the oath of office, Dr. Bunn, to the clerk of council. Again, would you state your name when I call? Uh, the City of Forest Park, Ohio, the oath of office, I Sally do solemnly swear or affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will support that I will support this Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Charter of the Municipality of Forest Park, Ohio. The Charter of the Municipality of Forest Park, Ohio. And that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully honestly, honestly and impartially and impartially discharge those duties as the clerk. Discharge of those duties as clerk of council. Amen. Thank you. We will now move to item number four, the election of officers. Uh, the process will be we will have nominations. If uh, the first, uh, there will be three officers, the mayor, first vice mayor, second vice mayor. The if you wish to nominate someone, when we open up the nominations, uh, raise your hand or just get the attention of the chair and we will recognize you. Uh, for the other people, if you are nominated and you do not choose to serve in that capacity, you need to say, I decline the nomination so that when we take the vote, uh, your vote, your name would not be uh, considered for that position. The first office that we will elect would be nominations for, the floor is now open for nominations for Office of Mayor. Councilwoman Herbie. I would move to um, nominate uh, Charles Johnson. Second. Charles Johnson has been nominated. Are there other nominations? Other nominations? Are there other nominations? Here um, none. I, I nominate. Nominate Regina Collins. Regina Collins has been nominated. Are there other nominations? Uh, you need a second. Oh, yes. We have to have a second. I'm sorry. I, se I second. Okay. Are there other nominations? Hearing none, I would declare that the nominations are closed. At this point, the clerk of council will distribute ballots. You are to write one name on the ballot for mayor. When you have written your name on the ballot, please fold it and the clerk of council will collect and count these and announce the results. Yes, I think you should from there. 
clerk of council will announce the results. The voting results for mayor, Charles Johnson, five, Regina Collins, two. Thank you. The next office is nomination for office of first vice mayor, and the same process will be followed. Is there a motion, Councilwoman Holt? I'd like to nominate Wendell Burns. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Mr. Burns has been nominated for first vice mayor. Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? I would nominate myself for uh, first, uh, second, mm -hmm. first vice mayor. Which one? You said both. First vice mayor. Okay. We would need a second. I would second that for first vice mayor. Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Hearing none, I would announce that the nominations are closed. And again, the clerk of council will pass out the ballots. We'll mark your ballots, writing one name. And then at that point, the clerk will collect the ballots and announce the verdict results. Voting for first vice mayor is as follows. Wendell Burns received five votes. Regina Collins received two votes. Thank you. Item C is the nomination for office of second vice mayor. Is there a motion? Councilwoman Moore. I motion to nominate Denise Holt for second vice mayor. Second. second. It's been moved and second to, for the nomination of Denise Holt. As second vice mayor. Are there other <coughs> nominations for second vice mayor? Yes, I would like to nominate myself for second vice mayor. Is there a second? I second that motion. Regina Collins has been, uh, it's been moved and second for Regina Collins to serve as second vice mayor. Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Hearing none, the nominations will be closed on the two said names. At this time, the clerk of council will again distribute <coughs> ballots among the members. And again, write one name on the ballot and they will be collected by the clerk of council.
voting for second vice mayor is as follows. Denise Holt received five votes. Regina Collins received two votes. Uh, then Denise, Denise Holt is elected as second vice mayor. We now move to item number five on the agenda, the appointment of, I'm oh, sorry, we need to take, have the oath uh, for the mayor and his two vice mayors, and that will be Dr. Louis Biden. Please repeat after me. Um, the City of First Park, Ohio, Oath of Office, I repeat your name. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio, the Charter of the Municipality of Forest Park, Ohio. And that I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge the duties as as the mayor, vice mayor, and second vice mayor. Amen. You all can pray. Agenda is item number five, the appointment of standing committees. By charter, uh, we are we <coughs> are the mayors to appoint with the uh, consent of council the members of the standing committees. The charter, uh, the standing rules further state that each sitting member of council must chair one of the standing committees, and that. Uh, there will be two other council members on each. The first standing committee will be a community development committee and that will be chaired by Mr. Burns with Councilwoman Herbie and Johnson as members. Second standing committee is human resources that will be chaired by Councilwoman Holt with Herbie, uh, Councilwoman Herbie and Councilwoman Collins as <coughs> members. Intergovernmental Relations and Communications Committee that will be chaired by Johnson, with members being Mr. Burns and Ms. Hope. The next committee is the Law Committee. This committee will be chaired by Councilwoman Collins, with Councilwoman Nuss and Moore as members. The next standing committee is Public Improvement and Facilities. This committee will be chaired by Councilwoman Moore, with Councilwoman Collins and Nuss as members. The next committee is Public Safety. This committee will be chaired by Councilwoman Nuss with Councilman Johnson and Moore as members. And the Ways and Means Committee will be chaired by Councilwoman Herbie with Councilwoman Holt and Mr. Burns as members. I would need a motion to concur. Councilwoman Herbie. I would move to concur. Second. It's been moved and second that we <coughs> council will con concur with the mayor's appointments to the standing committees. Um, is this roll call or uh, uh, is there any discussion on the motion to concur? Hearing none, all those in favor of concurring, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> then those appointments would stand. Item number six, appointments to voting memberships on committees. There will be, <coughs> there are two committees where we have voting membership, the first of those being the Planning Commission, and we would uh, appoint uh, Mr. Burns and Mr. Johnson to remain as members of the Planning Commission. The second one is the appointment of Stormwater. Do you want those separately? Yes. Yeah. When we, yeah, after I get there, I'll have separate motions. Oh, okay. Uh, the second one will be appointments of Stormwater Management Utility Board uh, voting members, uh, and that would be Councilwoman Holt. At this time, I will ent entertain a motion for appointments, uh, uh, consent with the appointments to the Planning Commission. Councilwoman Herbie. I would move to concur in the mayor's appointments. 
Second. It's been moved and second to concur with the mayor's appointments to the planning commission, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Barnes. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion to concur, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> and the, uh, the council votes to concur. We need a motion to concur with the appointments of Stormwater Management Utility Board. Um, is there a motion? Mr. Barnes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to uh, concur with the mayor's appointment to the Stormwater Utility Board. Is there a second? Second. second. It's been moved and second to concur with the appointments of the Stormwater Management Utility Board and voting member. Uh, is there any discussion? No, thank you. All those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, <clears throat> the item number seven is other appointments. Um, I don't believe these need concurrence, right? The other appointments, they get a voice vote as well. Excuse me? They, they're a motion okay. to concur. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other appointments, appointments to boards of investment, um, that would be, I would appoint, uh, the mayor would appoint to that board uh, members of the Ways and Means Committee, Councilwoman Herbie. Or Mr. OKI Board of Trustees for a term ending 1-11-18. Uh, that appointment would be Councilwoman Moore. And appointment of Clerk of Council as HB9 Public Records designee. That appointment would be uh, <coughs> the Clerk of Council. Yeah, each one. Yeah. I would need a motion to appoint Members of the Board of Investments, Mr. Barnes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to appoint Councilwoman Herbie to the uh, Board of Investment. Second. I move and second that we appoint Councilwoman Herbie to, the, that, to consent with the appointment of Councilwoman Herbie. Is there any discussion? Um, do, do, do the appointments to the Board of um, Investments include the other members of the Ways and Means Committee? No. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? Um, the motion to consent passes. Next is item B, appointment to the OKI Board of Trustees of Councilwoman Moore. Is there a motion, Mr. Burns? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to appoint Councilwoman Moore to the uh, OKI Board of Trustees for a term commencing 1-11-18. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Then that motion will pass. The next item is item C, appointment of clerk of council as a records designee. Is there a motion, Ms. Herbie? I would move to concur in the mayor's appointment of uh, Sally uh, Dirksen to the uh, public records designee. Second. And moved and second that the clerk of council be appointed as the designee for public records. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? There are there will be other committee appointments, but the two that I will mention right now, and these do not require concurrence, would be, I would appoint uh, Councilwoman Nuss to the Waycross Media Programming Board. And I would appoint Mr. Burns, uh, again, to, as the liaison between the, uh, to the Wynn Woods Board of Education. Uh, just as a note, one of the things I would like all of us to keep in mind, especially in your position as um, as liaisons, as member as liaisons, unless it was specified that you have voting privileges on uh, that com those uh, in those uh, standing committees, you do not, and we don't vote. We're there to advise, 
and to assist. Also, uh, the other thing that I would mention uh, just for your benefit is a lot of us belong to other committees and commissions uh, as citizens. There is nothing in the charter that would prohibit us from belonging to a commission or a board or committee. However, I would ask you to keep one thing in mind. When you are serving on those committees and or commissions in those positions, you might want to refrain from voting even though you have every right to as a citizen. And the reason I would say that is because we don't want the, pe the other people on that committee to operate under the impression that because we are council members that our vote has any greater weight than theirs. So uh, while you would obviously be counted in terms of quorums for those committees, uh, I would urge you not to uh, take part in, in a vote. Another reason is uh, oftentimes things that are done in those committees, commissions, and boards will ultimately come to council where council will have to make a decision. And we don't want to, uh, again, give the impression of um, that, uh, of an impropriety. Uh, uh, so just keep that in mind. The other thing, the other position that I, uh, that I did not mention uh, in terms of an appointment is to, uh, <coughs> is for Ms. Moore, who will be the our liaison representative to We Thrive. Are there any questions or comments? Uh, there are other boards and commissions. Not now. We'll, yeah, they will be. Uh, Mr. Burns. Just a quick question, mm -hmm. and it's just, a, and you've probably already taken care of it, or already looked into this, but the Waycross um, Media Programming Board, mm -hmm. typically there is a, um, oh, a resolution. Glad, or glad you mentioned that. Okay. Uh, there, there are two separate things. One is this Waycross Community Programming Board, where we have a liaison person. The other is CAVT. It's the one you're talking about. That one is usually a, we usually receive a recommendation from Waycross, uh, uh, naming a person or persons for Forest Park to serve in that capacity. And generally, those people are not members of council and we would pass a resolution to concur with that person being appointed to CAVT. Okay, any other questions or comments? One, th uh, I have one final thing before we adjourn, just so that everybody knows, this is going to be a long evening for us. When we, at seven o'clock, which is about 15 minutes, we are to go to, go next door, to the fire department, to the bays, for tree lighting. Um, it's an uh, annual event that's put on by uh, Parks and Rec, and they would like for us to attend, and I think we all should, if we possibly can. Now, having said that, keep in mind also that we are to be back here, because uh, we will, the gavel will call us to order at 7.50 for a work session. And then at 8 o'clock, after that work session, we will go into our regularly scheduled council meeting. Okay, everybody got that? Understand uh, what the game plan is from here on in. And I want to thank all of those members of the public who took the time to show up uh, tonight for our organizational meeting. Uh, thank you all very much for coming. I appreciate it very much. And I hope that this will not be the last meeting that you'll come to. Uh, you're welcome back uh, at any time. This is your government, your council, your city, your community. Thank you very much. Is there any other business to come before the organizational meeting? Anything else to come before the organizational meeting? Hearing none, meeting is adjourned.